video, I'm going to show you how to diagonalize a matrix. So first we need a, a diagonalizable matrix. Not all matrices are diagonalizable. So let's create a diagonalizable matrix by the command a is equal, setting A equal to a random matrix uh, with entries in Q and a four by four matrix, let's say. And then here's the part that makes it diagonalizable. In quotes, put diagonalizable. And okay, then a then uh, we've generated this matrix A here that allegedly is diagonalizable. And we have to find, um, find out a matrix P so that P inverse times A times P is a diagonalize, a diagonal matrix. Okay, so, well, first, just uh, let's just check the eigenvalues. Um, to get that, you just type in A dot eigenvalues, and here are the eigenvalues, five, one, four, and four. Now, this matrix P that we want is made out of the eigenvectors. So let's try finding the eigenvectors. And we want the eigenvectors on the right. In other words, what that means is A times B is equal to some constant times v. So that's what the eigenvectors on the right are. Those are the vectors v such that a times right, when you multiply on the right uh, by b. There's also eigenvectors on the left where v is on the left. But anyway, okay, so this gives this mess here. That's a little hard to, it's very hard to read. So turn on the typeset mode by typing this command and then typing the same a dot eigenvectors underscore right. It gives a little bit nicer to read, but still pretty cluttered. And uh, let's explain what, what's all going on. So first let's find the characteristic polynomial of A. That's um, given by A dot care poly. And then I also wanna go ahead and factor it. So tack on this factor method. And so here's the characteristic polynomial. So that means this is the determinant of uh, A minus X times I, the identity matrix. Uh, there might, this sage might be giving actually probably is giving the determinant of xi minus a, but whatever, it's this. And so the point is that the eigenvalues are five, one, and four with a multiplicity, an algebraic multiplicity of two. And that's consistent with what we found when we asked say directly for the eigenvalues, five, one, and four with a multiplicity of two. That reason four was this is twice, twice here is exactly because the um, algebraic multiplicity here is two. Okay, so then let's try to understand what this uh, SE row is saying. So the first um, tuple here is five, followed by a list of a single eigenvector, followed by the algebraic multiplicity of the eigenvalue. So this five, the first five here is this five eigenvalue five. Then the one, the very last one here is saying that the algebraic multiplicity is one. And then this list in the middle is the eigenvector. In this case, there's only one, the eigenvector associated to that eigenvalue. Um, okay, so then um, similarly, this second item in the list is eigenvalue of one, that's here. The algebraic multiplicity is one. That means the exponent on the x minus one is one. And then the eigenvector is in here, and then finally, let's look at this last uh, eigenvector case or eigenvalue. So that's with the eigenvalue four. It's algebraic multiplicity is a two. That's what you see here, that this two is on the exponent of x minus four. Um, okay, and then the, now we have, it happens to have two eigenvectors associated to this eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue four. Um, Okay, so here the geometric multiplicity is two. That means the number of eigenvectors and the algebraic multiplicity is also two. In general, the algebraic multiplicity will always be bigger than or equal to the geometric multiplicity. And so there's a convenient command called the eigenmatrix. And once again, we want the eigenmatrix where the eigenvalues are on the right. And so it's A dot eigenmatrix right. And then what does this do? It returns a pair, a tuple of D two matrices D and P that satisfy A times P equals P times D. So basically this is the P that we want. Um, and so one way to extract, well, here's what it returns and it returns these two matrices. And we want to, one way to extract these two matrices in Python or Sage is to write D comma P equals A dot eigenmatrix right. And so that this command will assign D 
to the first matrix and P to the second matrix. And so then when I ask for what's D and what's P, it's exactly the first matrix and second matrix respectively. And yeah, note that this, what we're interested in this is the second matrix P, and note that its columns are exactly the eigenvectors. So let's go back up here to the eigenvectors. For example, here is one that 0, 1, negative 3 fourteenths, negative 2 sevenths. And you can see down here that uh, 0, 1, negative 3 fourteenths, negative 2 sevenths is this eigenvector. And so, yeah, so this is this matrix P that we're looking for that will diagonalize this, uh, uh, diagonalize A. And let's also compute P inverse A times P. Um, so P dot inverse, okay, and then times A times P equals, and yeah, there we get our diagonal matrix. So we found this matrix P that diagonalizes 